All right. Well, good morning. It's uh, February 2nd, 2022. And yesterday in the news, uh, or all over uh, social media, they were talking about Tesla in a recall for the uh, autopilot's ability to do rolling stops. And you can see right here, I've gone into autopilot uh, settings. And in the full self-driving beta, it says, in the average, medium following distances and may perform rolling stops. And if you go to assertive, it will do the same thing. If you go into chill mode, it, it doesn't mention anything about rolling stops. So there's a new update coming out that will uh, disallow any rolling stops, which, you know, is what a lot of humans do anyway. So what I wanted to do here this morning is uh, modify my route a little bit and go through a couple of uh, four-way stops and uh, just see how the behavior is. So you'll be able to see exactly what the car is actually perceiving in its environment. So we're approaching a, a four-way stop. Got a little bit of traffic to uh, deal with. We'll see how it, there are no other vehicles. So went to two mile an hour and then it proceeded. So there was a rolling stop. Totally safe, but an officer definitely could cite you for that. So here we're approaching another four-way stop. Looks like zero traffic to deal with. Two mile an hour. Oh, there was a car that just approached right at the last second there, you see. Nothing to deal with there. And this will be our last four-way stop. So the car wants to move into the right lane, preparing for a right turn at the next light. You can see that it's kind of splitting the lane here. It's not. So now we've got traffic to deal with. So we're waiting. So it's waiting for that car to proceed. And now the vehicle proceeds. So there you have it, folks. This is what uh, the big wine is all about uh, and why NHTSA is uh, requiring Tesla to remove the rolling stops from its software stack.